Good evening. Well, good evening. Now I know why we're so set to start this evening. Sure. Sure. We wanted to see you. Yeah. Mr. President, you've got you've got Congress wanting to put limits in the Gulf, and then they just they just handed you a hot potato with Graham Redmond. Aren't you feeling a little ill at ease with this group tonight? No, I'm just a little picked on. A little picked on? Yeah. What are you going to tell them about it? Well, no, I'm just we're softening them up. <laughs> what are you going to do about Graham, Graham, Graham Redmond? Well, it's going to be decided. I love you madly, madly, madly. 
Madam Librarian, Marion, heaven help us if the library caught on fire and the volunteer host brigade men had to whisper the news to Marion. Madam Librarian. What can I say, my dear, to make it clear I need any talking aloud with any librarian such as Marion. Madam Librarian, I knew what it could be. I got a box of maple sugar on my birthday. In March, I got a gray Mackinac. And once I got some grapefruit from Tampa, Montgomery Ward sent me a bathtub and a crosscut saw. Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down. Is it a prepaid surprise or COD? It could be curtains or D. Oh, you Wells Fargo wagon keeper coming. fallen in love, there is nothing left for Professor Hill to do except to lead the first performance of his newly formed River City Band! <laughs> 76 trombones led the big parade with 110 cornets close at hand. They were followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuosos, the cream of every famous band. Seventy-six trombones caught the morning sun with a hundred and ten cornets right behind. There were more than a thousand reeds springing up like weeds. There were horns of every shape and kind. There were copper bottom, timpani, and horse platoon. Thundering, thundering all along the way. Double belled euphoniums and big bassoons. Each bassoon having its big fat saint. There were 50 mounted cannon in the battery. Thundering, thundering louder than before. Clarinets of every size and trumpeters who'd improvise a full octave higher than the score. March, march, all the kids began to march, and they're marching still right began to march, and they're marching still right today.
Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you all very much. I'm delighted to welcome the members of Congress from both parties, as well as our other guests, to this annual White House Congressional Barbecue. First of all, I would like to thank the Marine Band for their toe-tapping rendition of The Music Man by Meredith Wilson. <laughs> who posthumously received the Presidential Medal of Freedom this year. Once again, the Marines have made my day. From the halls of Montezuma to River City, USA, wherever there is trouble, the Marines always have the situation well in hand. We are honored to have Rosemary Wilson with us this evening. Rosemary, as long as there's an American flag to wave and warm evenings with friends, Meredith's music will live on in our hearts. We elected officials are always trying to figure out the mood of the country. We look at polls. We see what the newspapers are saying, call in experts. But I suspect that if we just listened to a Meredith Wilson composition, we would know the spirit and soul of our nation. I've been looking forward to this event because, as you know, I enjoy the outdoors, good food, and good conversation. And this evening, we had all three. As you know, these bipartisan get-togethers help build a spirit of unity and amiability between those of us who must make government work. But as I think back to other such after six events, when the casual conversations with members of both parties led to bipartisan policy, I can't help remembering Lloyd George's observation that trying to enter an alliance with one of his political opponents was, quote, like going for a walk with a grasshopper. And I know that some of my best friends from time to time think I'd been led both down and off the garden path by, if not a grasshopper, perhaps the occasional gypsy moth or even a boll weevil. Well, it's true that in American politics, some of us may prefer different paths from time to time, but we're all heading toward the same goal. And we're more likely to get there if we remember that at its core, the American political process is premised on friendly political competition between fellow citizens. After all, only in America can a president of one party get together with congressional members of both political parties for a friendly feast right in the middle of a heated political struggle. We should be grateful for this tradition. We should work hard to maintain it. And in that spirit, Nancy and I are delighted to have been able to join you this evening for these moments of leisure, friendship, and goodwill. So, Thank you all, and God bless you. <laughs>